There are two kinds of trust, you know, I call them flavors of trust, if you will, that are really essential when we're talking about smarter collaboration. And what we what we know from our research is that both are necessary, but not sufficient. So one of them is competence trust, kind of no kidding, right? Like if you're going to open up a treasured relationship or project to somebody, you bloody well better trust that they're going to deliver high quality on time, on budget, all of that. So you trust in their capabilities and their competence. But at the same time, if you think they're a jerk, you will do everything to avoid collaborating with them. And if they're like the last person on the planet who has that kind of expertise and you have to, the way you collaborate with them is probably by like keeping them in a very small box and mediating everything, you know, intermediating everything that goes around just to prevent, you know, the, to do some damage control, right? So you have to have character trust as well as competence trust. You have to believe in somebody's integrity, that they're not going to undermine relationships. They're not going to steal your ideas or take credit for them.